So how do we do a poster um, like that, which is basically just under A2 size, and it's quite a big poster. Um, Microsoft Publisher we could have used to do that, um, but that's only good for people who have got Microsoft Publisher. If you haven't got it, you're pretty much up a gum tree without a paddle, or whatever the expression is. So what I did, I had a quick look on the internet, and I found this uh, quite a nice program, and simple program to use, uh, called Posterizer. Um, so here we are, here's Posterizer, here's the website, I'll put the address up um, at the end of the demonstration as usual, to give you a chance to write it down, but it's posterizer.com and it's, I believe it's either a French um, or Italian maybe, I don't know. Um, I don't speak many languages. Um, so irrelevant because it's uh, if we click on the posterizer download there and we'll download the zip here it is and click OK it's it's only a small program um, not sure exactly how big it is but we will find out in a moment and it's finished doing already by the time I finish waffling um, so go to a download here it is posterizer, posterizer zip properties and it tells us it's it's only 600 kilobytes not even a megabyte big so even if you've got a slow download speed you can download this very simply right I've been here before and I have downloaded it and when you download there is no rubbish about it there's no um, oh you must do this or you must do that straight into this program this is the only picture you get it's a security warning um, publisher couldn't be verified. Are you sure you want to run this software? Yes, we do. And we go straight into Posterizer. And as you can see on the initial page, we have a for sale house, blah, 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 and all the text. Let's have a look at the text. It says for sale house, a telephone number, very sunny, near the city center, in various um, styles. Right, that's not good because we don't want to sell a house. We want to advertise the seaside. Um, we can change the text um, for something like spend the summer in Sutton on sea oh come on fingers um, and we don't want a phone number we'll have by the sea. Right, and we'll leave it like that. Okay, that's simple enough. Let's choose a nice font. Um, Arial's good, but you want it to be a little bit different, so you need to find yourself a nice font that you can use. Um, I'll go for Devro. Or Devroy, I keep saying Devro, it's Devroy. Um, there we are, that's um, that's what we've set up. Um, in the text side here, if we where spend the summer, um, we can uh, either center it as it is at the moment, or you can have it right aligned, or left, sorry, right, <laughs> left aligned or right aligned, um, or centered. And the size will be dependent on how big the picture is, obviously, but you can have it plus four, plus three, zero, plus minus two, whatever. Um, it's quite a good variety in sizes, and it's one of those things you've got to play around with, really, to. Um, to see what size you're actually getting. Let's just move this um, bar down a bit, hover above the line and you can move the page down a bit so we can see the whole of the picture. Um, right, okay, let's put a photograph in there. We'll open an image. Um, we'll go to the desktop where I've put a couple. I'll use that one because <coughs> it is a picture of Sutton on Sea just by the chalets. Um, and as you can see we've got spend the summer in Sutton on Sea by the sea um, on our poster. Um, down below here, um, in the lower part of the screen, we can see um, a lot of different sizes. Now if we go to 75%, we'll be able to see 75% of what the first page looks like, or the second page, the third page, fourth page, etc. and so forth. So we get to see the whole of our uh, cutouts, if you like. If we have a look very closely in the corner here, um, just on here, we can see these two little lines, and these are called crop marks. 
I would advise people to leave those crop marks in place. You can remove them, um, but I would leave them there, unless you've done this many times before. They're very handy and they, they actually cut away by the time you've finished um, doing. So this is our poster. Um, it's going to take oh two to three minutes to print or so because uh, there's a lot of colour on there, a lot of blue. I think I can hear the slurping noise of blue going down inside my printer. But never mind, for the sake of the exercise we'll do it. Oh, let's have a look. This, I haven't moved across here. Border we can have. We can select qu any fancy border we want really. Um, don't need anything too. Let's go for that one. There we go. We'll select that as a border border width we can change that to be really quite thick or on the other hand really quite quite small so we'll, we'll just leave it as default which I believe is five lines background let's have some lines let's change the lines to be blue lines because it's a very blue picture there we are and the background uh, probably white even a bit of grey perhaps how does that look that doesn't look too bad. We'll leave it at that. Size, right, we need to select. Um, I've been in here before, quite obviously, because it's already preset. We can change the width to six or seven pages. Um, and we can auto do the height. There we go. Um, if we apply that. Well, look at the size of that. If you consider that each one of these pages is an A4 page. That is going to be something like 8 foot across. Yeah, nearly 2 meters across. And far too big for what I need. Let's just be sensible now. Take that down to width of 3 and the height of 2. There we go. And we'll apply that instead. So much nicer easier to handle that um, but you can do massive posters um, right so there we are there's that's the basic setup the next thing I have to do is press the print button and that will send the information to the printer and I'll pick up on that when it's finished so we'll uh, I'll join that together so back in just a few microseconds which in reality is probably five minutes so five seconds on um, I was going to take a photograph of the finished work but I decided I would exaggerate some of the uh, bits and pieces so I've done another picture and just um, cropped it up and this is the sort of thing that you will get. Um, as you can see I've, I've exaggerated the crop marks here um, you can see them in the corners of the pictures very big. When you're cutting out um, the way I did it, and it's your own choice what you do, the way I did it is I cut off the yellow parts so I could lay this section here to join this section here. If I zoom in on the yellow part on this first picture you'll see that there's a thin basically one pixel line there between the cutaway and the print what you want to do is avoid that if you can possibly. The ideal cut would be to have paper on one side, plain paper on one side and the picture on the other and the cut separates them exactly. If you leave a little bit of white um, you, you will notice it when it's joined up. If you cut away a fraction of the picture it may be noticeable. There's no overlap. If you use Microsoft Publisher um, you get a little bit of overlay so you can set the overlay to be maybe uh, two millimeters three millimeters so you allow that little bit um, to cut off with this you have to join it exactly but cut away the yellow and move the yellow onto your neck or move the picture onto the next edge and do the same with page three now the bottom set the first picture you cut on the top and join that to the bottom edge of number one uh, starts to get really complex now because on page 5 you need to cut away the top and the side so that you can join both page 4 and page 2 with page 5 and the same with page 6. I've probably made that sound far more complicated than what it actually is. 
however that's all there is to it you need to just glue that down and the finished item is there on the wall for you to see not a lot of uh, complications to this program it's a simple program to use it's easy to use um, and you can mess around a bit and have fun if it's somebody's birthday in the family and you want to really put out a big banner poster then you can um, just very quickly <coughs> um, if you go in for this house for sale and you're doing the um, the size we can shoot that up to be maybe 12 auto it um, and then have a look see what we get apply that so there's our picture probably need it more than 12 actually probably need that oh, about certainly half it's <coughs> that's a little bit better so if you can imagine that saying happy birthday whoever um, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 A4 pieces across it's going to give you roughly yeah about 3 meters 4 meter banner and obviously you 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 narrow that down just to be maybe too high um, yeah probably narrow it down to be too high um, easy to use you can play around with it um, the complexity is really down to to whatever you want you know um, you can make it as complex as you like or as simple as you like how many that will be 12 by 14 by 7 that's a lot of pages isn't it eh? uh, 14 28 56 yeah nearly 70 pages joined together that would be a lot of glue used and a lot of that would be a big poster um, I'm not going to try that, I'm not going to print it out and I'm certainly not going to do it today but that's what you can do with it, I hope you enjoyed this program, it's uh, one you can have fun with um, and you can have fun with the rest of the family thank you for listening and we'll catch you again with some more interesting facts